G'day guys, this is my Coleman Guide Series stove. So it's a small portable dual fuel stove. It runs on unleaded petrol or runs on um, camping fuel. And I'm gonna run you through it today. We'll light it up, I'll show you how it all works. Um, and yeah, let you, give you a look at, look at the stove. I love it because, boil my kettle when it's cold. Those um, portable propane stoves that you buy, they just don't cut the mustard when it's cold. So. I'll unpack it for you, I'll show you what's in the box. Matches, you need your own matches. It's a special funnel, so when you're filling it with unleaded petrol or filling it with just the fuel, you can see there, I'll show you this funnel, it's got a little attachment in there. Basically, you put the funnel in, you fill it up, and you fill it up slowly until it stops draining. And then when it, as soon as it stops draining, it means that it's full. And then as you pull this funnel out, no more fuel leaks out. Um, apparently, I have yet to have it work effectively for me. I seem to spill fuel all the time. Obviously, you don't use it when you've got flame nearby. So, that's it. Keep everything in the box there. Get the box out of the way. That's it. So, it's a compact size. Look, you can see, about as big as my hand. Um, you can, it's got dial on the side here, a little pump that you pump it up with to get the pressure up in there, and then you fill a hole on this side for your unlead petrol or for your common fuel. fuel. I run it mostly on unleaded, I've never run it on common fuel, so I just figure unleaded, I've got the generator with me um, if I'm travelling or I can fill it up and it lasts for a quite a long time. Um, I think I've got, I think they say about two hours of, of burn time on, on a medium heat, so that's a lot out of out of a little stove that you're not going to use it for that for just boiling your billy and things like that. So, show you how we started up here. So basically, you just give that half a turn and that frees that pump up, and you need to give it about about 15 between 15 and 30 pumps, and you'll feel the pressure coming up. I don't know how many that is, I haven't been counting, but I can feel that pressure now. So, basically, also, there's a trick there. You need to cover that hole with your thumb when you're pumping it up. If you can see there, there is a little pinhole. You need to cover that pinhole with your thumb. Now you can hear that. There's some vapour there. So, what we'll do is, like any stove, we'll start our match first. I'll take it. Now it will light up with lots of flame at the start, okay? And don't put your head over the top of it. But basically what that needs to do is it needs to, what that needs to do is it needs to burn or heat up that middle pipe and that pipe that's running across the middle there, that pipe is, is a vaporizer, so it vaporizes a fuel. So we'll turn it up full Bicky and what we'll do now, we'll, we'll give it a few more pumps and get the pressure in there. And what that'll do is start to turn that flame blue. Now, I'm yet to have it go completely blue until it heats right up. Just see that flame there. See it's starting to get a lot bluer than it was before. They had a lot of suck. And you can adjust your flame. See your flame there. You can adjust your flame or you can really crank it up. When you really crank it up, that's when you get your get your yellow flame in there. But trust me, that flame there's hot. Very hot. And that's enough to boil your billy, that, that's for sure. So, I hope you can hear me with the audio. I'll probably be terrible over the top of that noisy thing. Um, but yeah. So that's the Coleman Dual Fuel 533 stove. And it's a cracking little stove for boiling your billy in the morning. Um, that's what I use it for. You can put a pan on top. I'll turn it off. I'll show you how the billy and the pan sit on there. So, when you turn it off, 
it will burn a bit of vapor in there for a while after you turn it off so just be careful um, turn it off and let it cool down it's nice and hot there but I'll show you these pans and billy on there okay guys so this is a little just a stone based pan little non-stick one you can see sits on there all right so it'll definitely sit on there if you're careful you've got a nice flat surface it's not going to fall off very easily um would be great to have a little bit of a trivet that sort of sat it over the top there but that pan sits on there fine pull that to the side and i'll show you the billy on there so the billy is what really sits on there well it's just perfect for the billy so you see there that it um yeah it fits on there really well great for boiling boiling a bit of water in the morning um never tried the jet boils anything like that don't like the idea of having to buy um canisters of fuel every time for what are those propane canisters that you buy for the common ones they're about what nine bucks each and i don't know what the little ones are but i let it's cheap and it and um you know for a litre which that's not going to take anywhere near a litre um you're looking at a dollar it's going to last you quite a long time so anyway cheers hope you enjoyed the video hope it's helped you out um <laughs> what i need to get i really would love to get is a little bit bigger zebra um billy i think it's called i think this one's a 12 i think the big one's a 14 or this might be a 14 the big one's a 16 but um they reckon that that calm and stove fits in the bigger one perfectly so you can take it all in one that'd be ideal but um one day one day all right guys enjoy